Yeah, you look good, Joyce. Back you go. Yep. Just uh, to the driver's side a little bit. Yep, boy. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Kick your nose around. Kick your nose to the passenger side. Back up. Yep. Is that cool or what? Oh, it's a bee. Yes. There's a bee on the bonnet. Yes, there is a bee on the bonnet, okay? You like that? Pretty good. So was it done at the quarter? Oh, I'd have to check up with them, what it does. Like 13 nines or 14 nines, something, I don't know, I'll have to check. I'll check with them. Maybe let me check it down. If we want more speed down the quarter mile, in the, in the big Ziffer. Well, it's more speed, or well, maybe I'm not the best to bike again. Maybe not, you're not the lightweight. Oh no, you, we're still all, we're still kinked up here. 65, 1965 Zephyr. Zephyr 6. I'm reaching in. Oh, it's already popped. I gotta find where it is though. It's gotta get my fingers, it's right here. And it goes down, not up. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Not for a is it a Hamilton car? Or an Auckland car? Auckland? Hey, it's trouble. Must be trouble too many. When was it certified? 15. It's been in here for a long, long time. Well, it's got a nice set of headers on it. Oh, yes, they are. They are lovely, aren't they? So basically, it had. Uh, one UZ out of a UCF20, a Ford, a Ford motor. No, stop. It had the motor pulled out, had the, the UZ put in, kept it pretty basic. It fits in there quite nicely. Like, really quite nicely. Check out the distance between the heater and that fuel line. Not 100 mil. Oh, it's locked. Can't get in. Oh no! Oh no! That's for the the speedo to run the speedo. Right. So in behind this box here is the ECU. Right. So we just got to check out what's going where and where else other things run. Do do we see an overdrive switch anywhere? No, it's only got this weird shifter, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there's a switch. Oh, yeah, it's a... Oh, it's got an inter-check light down here. Yeah, I found the inter-check light, so that's, that's going back in. No tackle. Don't have to worry about tackle on this one. No. Oh, this is pretty cool. cool. So guys, Calvin and Jason from the Cartoon Company, and this is our job to do. Uh, it is a, it's a Zephyr, and it's getting a new computer, and it's running an automatic transmission that is going to get controlled by the aftermarket computer as well. Some of the rules we have when you bring a vehicle in is you always test drive it. You always go for a good test drive and check that everything is kind of doing what it should if you're doing normal type repairs. But, Jase, did you, did you test drive it? Oh, I drove it down from the house to here. And I drove it to the house from here. Hmm. Because there is an oil leak. So it was booked in for wiring, but there is also an oil leak of some sort. So it came on a truck, the customer didn't drive it down, 
He's from Auckland and we have to sort the oil leak. And that is why we haven't given it a good test drive. So we're gonna do a tear down, we're gonna do a change in the wiring, and we'll keep you updated as we go through. Is this a coil on plug? Yeah, I think we'll put coil on plug on it. Yep. That'll make it nice. Yep, let's do coil on plug. The thing I don't know about, which I haven't decided, is whether I use this factory stepper or I put an aftermarket one on it. And do I put bigger injectors in it? I would like 100 cc's more. Yeah. Mm. So I want to go, for, I'd really like to go from the 250 to the 350, 360. There's our Arteza idea. Yep. Otherwise we just go to the four, two to the 450s, 440s. So obviously we've got scope to do that, have we? We have got scope to do that. I think the man just said, uh, whatever. Cool. Okay. In a aftermarket computer, something to run the trains, yep. which we've got in our aftermarket computer. Mm -hmm. I want to do coil on plug. We'll get rid of this other stuff because that's really cost effective. And then find the, find the oil leak, which is whatever it is. I'm hoping it's not something serious where the motor has to come out. So let's check that out and find that oil leak first, eh? We might try and sort that. I don't really like that alternator tension of being backwards either. It's around the wrong way. That's why it squeals in the morning. Well, why don't we just put our tensioner on? I think so. So, we've got a bit of scope. Um, this looks like a fan control, is it? You find an oil leak, mm -hmm. I will do some check out of where the wires presently go. Roger. What? Look how good it fits. Yeah. That's I awesome. It is. Oh, we've got, okay, so we've got leakage everywhere. <laughs> I've got sensor here, and it runs up into the cabin. Oh, I think I read. It looks like the water pump's leaking. It does look like the water pump's leaking, Jace. So I've got one here and one there. Yep. So I've got twin wideband for it. So I've got the twin wideband kit. So if we drop the sensors down. Well, they come up here. They're actually going all the way up. I think we drop holes through the floor. And they go, oh, they go up here. Yep. Yeah, that's so that's Trends. under the, it's actually in front of the seats, eh? Seats are mounted here. Mm. That's the seats falcon. It's a fist falcon difference on the, Oh, yeah. But the, the LSD is not very LSD. That's dumb. No. Oh, it's fun to have for this time. What's that just put out? Okay, so. Oh, hang on. It must have a surge tank in it. That's. Yes, it's got to surge, must have something. I got transfluid. Yep. Here. Yep. Then we've got oil leaking. I would actually, I would love to put, I've got a transgo kit in the container. I've got leaking coolant. Yep. And I've got oil leaking down the front. Yep. So that's camp out area. area. Yep. Let's do camp out tablet covers. Mm hmm. Look like rear main. Can you pull this off? R sorry, remove this cover. We'll have a look in there too and make an assessment. Dipstick O ring tube. Yeah. What do you reckon in here? I don't know. It's not wet and drippy, it's no. just a little bit weepy. A little bit weepy but, in uh, there. But I'm wondering if it's stuff from the It's had a torque converter down, eh? Has it got a different torque converter in it? Yeah, maybe. So, but it's all wet, like it's all yeah. wet up there. On yeah. the top. And yeah. there's this weird, like milky stuff on the exhaust somewhere. Yeah, I saw that. 
Okay. Cam belt's yours. Strip the intake off for me. Injectors out. Inject O rings. And we probably should get a pan gasket for it. Mm, that looks like fun to change. I don't know, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know, it should be easy. I thought, the, I thought that bolt was that. Never mind. Over Just here. there's no oil coming from like the shifter tube, shifter seals, no. And then there's a seal here. Uh, That's dry. Oh, it's just a little bit of a weepy. Some of them have a cap, some of them don't. Um, we have to pull that gearbox loom out. It looks like it's already been pulled to the side. So I'll get my little fingers in there to give you a hand, eh? Because look at your hands. Yeah, ain't no way you're getting those plugs out of that gearbox, boy. No way. No, right. Good. With side cutters. Can you also please check the alternate? We've got to check the alternator wiring. How close are we to the? It's close, eh? That it fits so, so well. Yeah. Is your old into breaking your fillings? Yep, I believe so. Mm. And so we've got to sort that fan wiring, because there's the fans relays up in there mm. as well. Oh, yeah. Run that off the computer. Run that off the computer. It takes the dump, it takes. Get it down, I'll, I'll do some pinouts from inside. Could possibly do with some new sway bar bush mounts, bushes. Yeah, yep. Just order those. Yep, <laughs> yeah, just order them somewhere. I know, it's probably easier to find than BMW parts. You would drive a BMW, Jace. I don't drive it. It's you not mine. would drive a BMW. It's not mine. Well, I drove it here, but it's not mine. I don't own it. Battery's there. Well, what were we talking about? Oops, 044? Yeah. Let's hope that is an 044, not a um, 070. Search tank, fuel pump, battery. Simple. Yep. Right up. Cool. I was just I was, I was gonna suggest cams. You always shoot me down. No cams out. Yeah. <laughs> and you suggest it, Mike. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was not a Celsius motor because a Celsius would have a four-pin plug right here, and it would have a hydraulic fan pump. This has had the viscous fan removed. It's had a frost plug put in the front. It's got to be an LS four hundred. Loom. Possibly no EGR on it, so possibly a New Zealand, New Zealand one. Mm. Oh, we've got mechanical temp gauge. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that. It's mechanical. <laughs> have you got? I, it must have an oil light, does it? Because I've still got a switch down there. Do we have a, just a, a single light on the dash? Yeah, I don't see a light on the dash. Yeah, well. So we've got an oil light and a battery light. I've got an extra relay over here, too. This is done really neat, isn't it? Really neat. Yeah. I've almost tempted it. Oh. I think I'm going to put the, um, the relay in the boot for the pumps. Because you've got your power supplies there, so you're a nice grunty power supply. Okay, yep. And you just run a true wire down. Are you going to put your overdrive switch in? I am going to put an overdrive switch in it. Because I also want to put a, a drag switch in it. Power economy. Computer, computer's going to give us different settings mm. for train shift you want to race it Jason? I'd like to race it with a V8 nut? 
Yeah. We'll convert you over. No. It'll still, still won't be as fast as my car. It's faster than your car at the moment. Well, when Mum's all I pull it apart, it won't be. Yeah, it won't be tomorrow. Yeah. No, it'll be it'll be slow like it'll be just like your car. Won't yeah, run. Won't run. No. Okay. So we got got some power supplies coming from under the carpet. Up under here. We must have an ignition feed in here somewhere. We don't have to worry about water temp. Does the factory temp gauge on the dash work? No. Anything happen? It does, eh? Yeah. I can see that light just dimly pulsing. Yep, we're just on halfway now. So that works as well. So the factory temp gauge works, plus it's got the aftermarket one. That's actually owned by a, another Jason. Is it? Yeah. Cool. So I could say Jason, you. And Jason, the owner. We'll just call him Jason. Yeah. Just to confuse everyone. Righto. You got a plan? I got a plan. You got a plan? Um, I probably doesn't need to run the oh the purge solenoid, which is actually perished off. So that's now a purge leak. Purge leak. It is. It's a purge leak. Look at the look at the. It's all falling to pieces. Yeah. All right. Look how little this is poking out. Little tiny thing. Hmm. For the shock mount. Quite small. How's your side, Jace? Well, this is. Um, it looks a little bit bent and it's starting to crack around the world. Okay. That's definitely a crack. Hmm. I might need a bit more than those. Shall we add that to your list? I suppose so. The diff won't fall out. You can take it off without the diff falling out. Yeah. We'll get that welded up. Put some support into it somehow. Triangulate it from here. Right? Triangulate, yeah. And, oh, yeah. You can go right out. Triangle right back here. Yeah. It really needs upwards, but there's nowhere to weld well, it right here. Why sort of dumb idea? <laughs> it's still leaking, you haven't fixed it yet. Yeah. 